the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Are you praying in the spirit? For he will do mighty things tonight. your name Jesus the miracle walker we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere I'd like you to pray one minute and let the Lord know that you mean business tonight. The depth of that. Say, Lord, tonight I come to be a spectator. I didn't come to clap for others. I didn't come to watch others receive their breakthroughs. I mean business tonight. Like Jacob, I will hold on to you until something opens up about my destiny. Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, I came here tonight because I'm tired of what is happening in my family. I'm here tonight because I'm tired of what is happening in my finances. I'm tired of what is happening in my spiritual life. I'm tired of what is happening in my business. Pray for Pray from the depths of your heart. If you leave this place with your problems, then you will have yourself to blame because the power of God is more. Make sure you are praying.
Yes, Lord, it will change tonight. The devil is in trouble tonight. Believe me. No, he will not hold your marriage again. He will not hold your finances again. Not your family members. Satan can be tired. You can weary him. Satan can be tired. He can let you go. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I command every spirit of doubt and fear in this place to depart because what God is about to do tonight will surprise you we contend with spirits of doubt spirits that will argue with God and argue with his power and say can such a thing be done we contend with those powers let the spirit of faith rise that spirit that says it is possible no matter how many times you have tried. Say, Master, we have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, at thy word. I don't care what happened in January. I don't care what happened in February. This is November miracle service. Hallelujah. Let your faith be high to the roof. Don't doubt God. God is not your mate. He does not have a mate. Let me tell you the truth. It doesn't take time. It just takes God. Are you hearing me? It doesn't take time. It just takes God to step in. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you will not only receive breakthrough. You will receive the balance. The Bible says when you catch a thief. He won't just pay what he stole. That will be injustice. He said he will pay sevenfold. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me just encourage a few of us here. Please, I need you to know that we don't fake this thing. Hallelujah. We don't fake this thing. When we say God is walking here, we are not faking it. You can choose to watch and go back frustrated. Or you can hold on to God tonight and say, God, as long as I had one testimony, you must give me my own today. Can I tell you something? Many of you don't know how to receive from God. You are too organized. You are too, you are too calculated. When you come for a miracle service, no matter what it will cost you, see, there is a way you can, Jacob held on to God. He said, Lord, between me and you, although you are God, you will be tired today. I'm not leaving you. And God said, the day break it, leave me. He said, no way. I rather die holding you than go back to my problems. There are some of you who have come here just to stand in for others. But there are some of you, you left fire in your homes to come here. And if God does not attend to you, you are going back to meet things. There are spirits that are molesting families. And except God intervenes tonight, 
for some families is a matter of life and death this is why we are here tonight hallelujah my only prayer tonight is that you will believe God enough that's my only prayer for you because see many of us are so used to our pain when we say God is going to take it away you want to believe him but when you look at that mountain you are wondering can God really level it the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness saying can God make a table where will he get the wood to make a table in the wilderness and then he said let me prove to you that I am God and he sent quails and bread he said eat as much as you want and don't say for the next day I am still abundant to supply more can I tell you something I don't care what problem you brought tonight it is not the first time it is happening in this earth and it is not the first time people your miracle will not be the first of its kind that God is giving people are you listening and if God has done it for one person he can do it hallelujah there are people barring some standing in for barring people you will not be the first to receive a miracle child God has been doing it for a long time we had the testimony of, of one, one, one of, of the aunties of our, our workers here who for 8 years had been barren and when God visited her he gave her triplets they are all alive till today I believe God oh I'm a believer I'm a believer I found out from the Bible that Satan can be tired and it was a big encouragement you can weary him are you getting what I'm saying Satan can be tired Satan was so tired he went to testify on behalf of Job he said Lord I give up who is this strange man I have done everything I can do. Satan can be tired. It's only the keeper of Israel that does not sleep nor slumber. Satan sleeps. He can slumber. He can be tired. Tonight we have come to weary the devil. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Prophesy to yourself tonight. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the glory of the Lord is risen Hallelujah. upon me. Praise the Lord. I welcome every one of us. We have a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just want you to walk to 20 people. Give them a big hug. Tell them, see you at the other side of your miracle. If you are not interested in getting it, I will need you to clap for me when I receive my own. Give them a big hug because that's the last time you will see them in that level. That is the last time.
by faith. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone to our November Miracle Service. Both those online and those here, let's celebrate Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated. God bless you. Let's get into the business of the night. Hallelujah. God is in a hurry to make sure something breaks open about your destiny. Hallelujah. The only thing the devil can do tonight is witness your miracle. He will carry the package by himself and give you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I'll share with us a few things to fire up our faith. Hallelujah. As we prepare to see the mighty things that God is doing, let's see how this episode will be tonight. Hallelujah. I need you to understand tonight, ladies and gentlemen, that nothing just happens in this earth realm. Say after me, nothing just happens. Shout it, nothing just happens. Prosperity doesn't just come. Listen, healing doesn't just come. A family does not just receive breakthrough. Are you getting my point? Things don't just happen. There is nothing called mistake in the realm of the spirit. That language, that grammar does not exist. Hallelujah. Everything you see happen was made to happen. Are you getting my point? Everything, good or bad, when you see anything happen, there are influences that cause these things to happen in the earth realm. And the reason why the Lord gives us the keys of the kingdom is so that we can regulate the things that happen and compel them to be consistent with the word of God. Hallelujah. Nothing just happens. It was a revelation that delivered me. That means that language of whatever will be, will be. Have you heard people sing that song? That godless song, whatever will be, will be. If you leave your farm without planting, something will grow. What is the name? In primary science, what did they teach you that a weed is? It's a plant. It's just that it's unwanted. There are many unwanted things in our lives. And if we keep waiting and saying, one day I know that God in the sweet by and by, one day things will change. Let me tell you the truth. You may stay like that forever. It will take you engaging certain violent kingdom principles to keep Satan where he belongs. And I'll just be sharing with us a few keys tonight. Hallelujah. If you ever experience anything in your life, there must be a basis in the spirit. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye ancient doors. What did the gates say? They said, who is this king of glory? In other words, we will not just open up because you are speaking English. Who is this king? What is the basis? Introduce this personality that is attempting to open this door. And he said, he is the king of glory. The Lord strong and mighty. There must be a basis. Based on what revelation will Satan release your family? Based on what revelation will the prosperity and breakthrough come in? Based on what revelation will the terminal disease go? Based on what revelation will your family members come back again? Based on what revelation will you receive the child? Based on what revelation will the tumor and the cancer die? There is a basis, brothers and sisters. 
And if you cannot present that course, if you cannot present your basis like your card in the spirit, you may never move forward. Hallelujah. I'd like to share four powerful revelations. Four powerful revelations very quickly. Believe me. Listen. There are many of you as I teach, as these revelations come, you will walk out of the chains of your life. Just walk. You will not even need to pray. You will walk out and leave the chains. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says an angel came and met Peter in the prison. Is that true? And the Bible says when he came on their own, the chains broke. Nobody needed any key to open anything. The word of God itself is a key. You will find chains just falling and you just walk out. Number one, if you ever want to command authority and receive miracles in this realm, you must understand the revelation of the Lordship of Jesus. Everybody say the Lordship of Jesus. Everybody say the Lordship of Jesus. If you do not get this revelation, you are far from walking in power. The Lordship of Jesus. Many of you say Jesus is Lord, but we really do not understand that revelation. What does it mean to call Jesus Lord? What does it mean to be Lord? Please listen to me. These are simple revelations, but these are revelations that are the foundations for dislodging Satan and darkness. The revelation of the Lordship of Jesus. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Blessed Jesus, thank you. Are you there? Acts chapter 2, verse 36. This was Peter the Apostle speaking. Acts 2, verse 36. It says, therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made the same Jesus, both what? That he have crucified both Lord and Christ. He said, we are announcing to you that this Jesus you once crucified, today he has been made. That means until then he was not. Is that true? He has been made a coronation service was held in heaven and in that coronation service a name was given to Jesus many of you say Jesus and nothing happens because you do not know the name the name is not Jesus Jesus is the name that a human being gave him when he was born there are people in Mexico today called Jesus is that true there was a name that was given to him what is that name the name is not Jesus. For instance, the Bible prophesying, Isaiah speaking, it said you shall call him Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the Bible says that will be his name. The name means his office, his identity. An office of operation was given to him. That based on that office, certain things become possible in the earth realm. That was the coronation service that the psalmist saw. He said the Lord said to my Lord. He didn't say the Savior. Said to my Savior. He didn't say the Master. He said the Lord. Said to my Lord. Sit down at the right hand until your enemies be made your footstool. That was the coronation service he saw. And Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. It says let this mind, permit this mindset be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. And then you read it down to 10 and 11. And it says, Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him. Who exalted him? Highly exalted Jesus and gave Jesus a charisma, an office, an identity. And he said, Every time that office is invoked, certain things should happen in the earth realm. Hallelujah. It says, wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that at the mention, at the, at, at, at the what? 
Where is it? It says at the name. It even said the mention. At the name of Jesus. What happens? Every knee. Cancer. What again? It's in your prayer request. Call it. <laughs> ah, we have a lot of poverty to destroy tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and even the things under the earth. It says, and every tongue will have to confess that that Jesus, verse 11 now, that Jesus has now become Lord. That's the name that was given. The name is Lord. And Lord means master, owner, the authorized legislator. That's what it means. So the name was given. When Jesus was upon the earth, the name was not yet given. That's why it was not possible for him to perform miracles in certain places. When he sent the 70, he said, don't go to certain places. The jurisdiction of my power has not reached there. But when he was coronated in heaven, he came back now. He said, all power has now been given unto me. He said, go therefore in light of the fact that I have become Lord. Hallelujah. You must have the revelation of the Lordship of Jesus. Hallelujah. So that you can look at this challenge, this mountain, and impose the Lordship. Notice every time the Bible talks about dominion, we use that word, Lord. Psalm 24, it says the earth is the Lord. It didn't say the earth belongs to God. The earth is the Lord's. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus is Lord. You must have the revelation of that Lordship. He's not trying to be Lord. Hear me. I said it last week or week before last. The opposite of Jesus is not Satan. That Sunday school teaching is wrong. Are you getting me? I'm not blaming your Sunday school teachers. I'm just saying that teaching is not scriptural. So many of us imagine that the opposite of Jesus is Satan. It's just that Sat Jesus is a little more than Satan. No, not at all. If there is any opposite to Satan, it's Archangel Michael, not Jesus. Because it was, it was Archangel Michael that took care of him. Remember, he met him again in the, in, in the book of Jude. Trying to take the body of Moses. He said, again, again. What happened in heaven is not enough for you. The Bible says in Revelations, at the Armageddon, the Bible says Jesus will not even fight. All he will do is open his mouth and a double-edged sword will come out of his mouth and do the job. I like you to say he's a mighty God. Say it, he's a mighty God. Bigger than my problem. Bigger than all the demons that oppress my family. Hallelujah. Revelation number two is that Satan and every demon they have been defeated at the cross. You must get this. You must get this, brothers and sisters. That Satan just, just I, I pray for you. Please listen. I'm, I'm trying to break it down. I want you to understand it and walk away free. You will see how cheap Satan is. Everybody says Satan has been defeated. Demons have been defeated. Absolutely. You must believe this. If you do not believe this, then there is no basis for you to receive your healings and miracles. Hallelujah. Satan has been defeated. He was defeated on the cross. Colossians, quickly. Colossians 2 verse 15. Faith is rising in somebody's heart. Somebody is getting angry. The word of God is reminding you again that Satan has been defeated. Colossians, please. Colossians 2 verse 15. Let's start from verse 14. Colossians 2 
from verse 14. It says, blotting out every handwriting. Is that in your Bible? And every ordinance that was against us, which was contrary to us, the Bible says he took it out of the way and did what? He nailed it to the cross. Verse 15, it says, having spoiled, the word spoiled there is plunder. Having plundered what? Principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly. He triumphed over them in it. He made a public show. Triumphing over them. I need you to understand that Satan has been defeated. This is a revelation you must get. Oh, how can Satan be defeated when there are real issues? Don't worry, just follow me. There are two more revelations. Hallelujah. But you must believe that Satan has been defeated. That every demon, no matter their strata, no matter their levels, they have been defeated. Nailed on the cross. One more scripture. Hebrews 2 verse 14. Shiba balakata pratishala. Hebrews 2 verse 14. I'm sharing with you that which will become the basis for your receiving tonight. This is the difference between a miracle and magic. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Are you there? It says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same that through death that means through his dying he may destroy him that had the power of death in case you are confused that is the devil hallelujah it says that he may destroy the word destroy does not necessarily mean stop the person from cessation but strip him off of every ability the devil satan has been stripped of his ability now I'm going to explain when I finish with the other two we're going to put a balance but I need you to know this that Jesus is Lord Satan has been defeated every demon every foul unclean spirit of darkness has been defeated say amen, amen. hallelujah number three the third revelation you must have tonight is that you have legal rights in Christ to experience total victory. You have what? Not just rights. Legal rights. On account of no point one and two, today if you are in Christ, you have legal, legitimate right to place a demand and refuse and insist that you must experience total victory in your life. You have legal right. Let's look at two scriptures quickly. Romans chapter 4 from verse 25. Romans chapter 4. Romans 4 verse 25. Are you there? Who was delivered for our offenses? Delivered in exchange for our offenses. And it says raised up for our justification. He was delivered on our behalf. That means what I would have suffered. Jesus said hold on. I will go for you. He was delivered on account of our offenses. And the Bible says when he was raised up, he told us that is it. There is no, you are not guilty. There is no offense. Help me. Help me technical, please. Praise the Lord. Raised up for our justification. 5 verse 1 and 2. Quickly. Still Romans. Romans 5. Therefore, being justified by faith. Say, I have been justified by faith. The word justified means 
you have been declared not guilty you have been declared free to receive free to receive the accusation no longer exists because someone took your place hallelujah where are we Romans 5 verse 1 therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ verse 2 by whom also we have access say I have access access by faith into his grace that means by faith I can access all the packages that redemption has brought for me I have legal access I have legal access I have legal access this is what the Bible says hallelujah so that if there are any cultural barriers there are all kinds of things that try to impede me the Bible tells me I have legal access hallelujah number four if you have been sleeping this is where I want you to wake up now because what you are going to hear is what will tie up these revelations and this is where the body of the Lord Jesus Christ have been missing it let's review the revelations number one the revelation of the Lordship of Jesus number two the fact that Satan and demons have been defeated totally. They will not be defeated. They have been defeated. Hallelujah. Number three, you have legal access. On account of the fact that Christ died and rose again, he has opened the way. The Bible says the curtain of the temple tore from top to bottom, meaning that anyone could now pass. Hallelujah. But the fourth revelation is the missing link. Why many people in the body of Christ, although these things have been established, they may not be able to walk in victory. Number four, it takes faith and the application of kingdom principles to walk in the experiential reality of these truths. It takes faith and it takes the application of kingdom principles. This is the part that has confused and cheated a lot of people in the church. It takes what? Say it takes faith. One more time. It takes faith. And the application of kingdom principles to walk in the reality of these things. Now look up please. I need you to understand the language of the Bible and the way God communicates. When you understand the way God communicates, you will know that there are certain things we need to do to make this become real in our lives today. For instance, have you read in your Bible that the Bible says right from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain? Is that true? Have you read it in your Bible? Question. When did Jesus die experientially? Over 2,000 years ago. But then in the eye of God, as far as God is concerned, from the foundations of the earth, the lamb had been slain. Are you getting my point? When the Lord appeared to Gideon, what did he call Gideon? This was a man who was hiding. Is it not in your Bible? It says, O thou mighty man of valor. That means it is in the character of God. It's not his fault. He does not have time in between. He's Alpha Omega. So it is from that standpoint that he speaks. So whether he's standing from the beginning or the end, it doesn't make any difference. Are you getting my point? Let me show you one scripture. Psalms 119 verse 89. Psalms 119. The deliverance has started already. For many of us, this is the ultimate deliverance that will happen to you this night. Psalms 119 verse 89. Hallelujah. Let's read it. Forget about the L-A-M-E-D. Read the rest. One to read. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. Stop. Where? Did he say in the earth? He said thy word is settled. Where? Let's read on. I'm going to shock you now. Next verse, please. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. 
He said, Thou hast established the earth and it abided. 91. They continue this day according to thy ordinances for all are thy servants. Next verse, please. Unless thy law had been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. Hold on. What is the psalmist saying? He's saying, oh Lord, forever your word has settled. But he said, if not that I got these principles, I would have still died in my affliction. Is that in your Bible? So although your word is settled, but my escape route was that your law had been my delight. I searched out diligently to find out how to apply those principles. Otherwise, I would have perished in my affliction. 93. It says, I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. What did he use to actualize that revelation? His precepts, his laws, his principles. Are you getting me now? So although it is true that Christ died for every sickness, every infirmity, this is the difference between miracle and magic. Brothers and sisters, listen. A magician will just conjure everything. All he needs is your money and your common sense. But the word of God is not magic. It is faith in this revelation that will make it become true in your life. Are you getting my point now? Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. But he went on to say, I will not forget your precepts. In other words, although your word is settled, if I don't know how to actualize it, I will still die in my affliction. Hallelujah. Is that in your Bible? One more scripture. Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 5 to 8. Very interesting scripture. This is where the body of Christ has been missing it. Oh, hallelujah. I now told you Jesus is Lord. And now we confess Jesus is Lord. Satan is defeated. I have legal rights. Prosperity is mine. Health is mine. And demons just keep looking at you and say, didn't they finish the training for you? Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 5. It says, for unto the angels had he not put in subjection the world to come. Whereof we speak. Verse 6. It says, but one in a certain place. That certain place is Psalm 8. Remember, Psalm 8, the Psalm of David. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Okay, so but one in a certain place testified saying, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Not the son of man that thou should visit him. Verse 7. Thou hast made that man a little lower than the word angels. There is the word Elohim. It's not just angels, angelos like spirit beings. No. Elohim, God himself. You have made him a little lower than God. And you did what? You crown him with glory and honor. And then you set him over all the works of your hands. So this is Paul speaking. The one who gave us the revelation of the Pauline epistles. That tells us what we are in Christ. According to Ephesians 1, 2 and 3. And the book of Colossians. The same Paul is speaking to the Hebrew church. Hallelujah. And he's telling them that although you have crowned him with glory and and honor and you have set him over the works of your hands next verse please verse 8 everybody thou has put all things in subjection stop this is the part many people know you have put all things in subjection under his feet it says for in that he put all things in subjection under him he left nothing this is God speaking as far as God is concerned, there is nothing that should not yet be under the feet of man. He said, but now, but from our perspective, is that true? Read on, want to read. But now, we see not yet all things under him. So although the Bible says God has done everything, it says experientially, we do not yet see that in our lives today. Although, God has said everybody should be blessed. Although God has said you will not look for a mate, you will not look for a husband or wife, we do not yet see the people in your family married. Is that true? Although 
God has said you should get supernatural jobs, promotion and the rest. We do not now yet see all things. This is where faith and the application of kingdom principles come in. This is where meetings like this come in. Are you getting my point now? If you don't understand the missing link, and this is what a lot of our brothers and sisters around the body of Christ have cheated people in. They just tell them, no, it is settled. Believe it. Receive it. Go and sleep. You have been sleeping for years. Things have not changed because this is the missing link. So, when you begin to apply kingdom principles you are not fighting the world you are aligning with this revelation because it is the basis for the action you are taking are you getting me now and when your obedience is complete you will now be ready to judge every disobedience are you are you understanding me now please get this principle don't let anybody confuse you at all a lot of people have problems when we lay hands on the sick and when we get people delivered and when we release people from yokes and curses and bondages and they think we are neglecting what the Bible is saying. When we say there are people under all kinds of witchcraft activities and the rest, they say, ah, but the Bible says blotting out every handwriting. The Bible says now, although this is the template God is giving us, we do not yet see all things. So it takes faith and the operation of the principles of the kingdom to compel it to be done in the earth as it is already in the heavens. That was what Jesus taught us, isn't it? He said, when you pray, say, let it be done in the earth. That means it has not yet been done until that time, but it has been settled in the heavens. Hallelujah. Is somebody following me now? So many of you will see that this may be the missing link. Why although you have been confessing the word, somebody who does not tithe and keep saying money comes, prosperity comes, oh my door is open, you are going to die a broke failure. No matter how you convince yourself you are prosperous, you are poor. And you are going to, listen, your poverty is so bad because it will affect other people. It will become a mindset and you will teach other people. It will be a chain reaction. But when you begin to tithe, what happens? You are not tithing because you are doubting the blessing of God upon your life. You are tithing in partnership with the Holy Spirit. Koinonia. You are partnering with the word. It is the spirit and the bride that tells the word to come. So when the spirit and the bride, the spirit surprised revelation to the church, the bride, and together we now say, let this word become flesh. And the Bible says that spirit, immaterial word, became flesh, it gained substance, and it appeared before men. And we beheld it. We beheld it. Although it is settled, we've not yet beheld it. And so he said, let us, let us say the kingdom come by your will, your precepts, your counsel being done in the earth realm. Are you getting my point? There are many people who are confessing. There's no cause of my life. I don't have anything. I'm free. That's wonderful. But let me see what kingdom principles you are operating to back up what you are saying. James said, show me your faith. Is that true? How did he put it now? It says, show me your faith without works and I will show you my faith by my works. Not the works of the law. My practicalizing kingdom principles on account of the word that I've received. My response, obedient response. Hallelujah. We do not yet see all things. So it's not foolishness. For you to say, the prosperity has not yet manifested in my life. The healing has not yet manifested. But the Bible tells me it is settled. You see that? Are you getting my point? So when somebody says, ah, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling very strong today. Somebody says, oh God, what kind of English? No, this is not faithlessness. Please, don't confuse yourself. Are you getting my point? It's not wrong... <laughs> Come, Jordan. We are looking for 1,000 naira to pay for something. Experientially, we need the money now. We need to pay for it. And I said, Jordan, 
Do you have 1,000 there? I'm not neglecting the fact that the Bible says you are the head and not the tail. But at this time, we do not yet see all things under your feet. So you say, bros, I'm a believer. This word is working. It's just that right now, it has not yet appeared. Is that lack of faith? Is that lack of faith? This is the wisdom the Bible says is profitable to direct. Rather than embarrassing yourself to say, I have it. If God gives you a rema at that point, you stand upon that rema. This is why a lot of Christians are doing stupid things in the body of Christ. And we call it faith. See, I believe in violent faith. Don't get me wrong. Are you getting my point? But I am saying faith is acting upon a word, not emotions, not presumptions. Hallelujah. For instance, although the Bible declares that no inhabitant, thank you sir, no inhabitant in Zion shall say I am sick. The, the reality right now is that there are some people who need a miracle in their body. Is that true? Although the Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. It says your children surround your table. You will see your children's children. There are some families that the war you left as you are sitting quietly right now. You know that this war is not what the Bible says should happen. Is that true? And this is why we enforce these things. The last point. And then. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. A habalist tells you, bring 10,000 naira. Bring the head of a black fowl. Turn around. Sit down. Shout, ah, three times. They do all those things. You don't even know what you are doing. You just see smoke somewhere. They'll say, go, it's done. And you go and you are hoping that it will be done. If it's not done, you can't accuse him. You can't report him to the police. You can't do anything. You just get angry and look for another person. But the Bible shows you so that you can be a blessing to others. You see the difference between herbal medicine and the word of God? It is repro You can reproduce the results again and again. Where are we? Deuteronomy 28. From verse 1. It shall come to pass, the Bible says, if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord. To do what? To observe and to do. Not to think and to confess. To do what? To observe. Pay attention. Ensure that you are complying. It says, and to do. All that I command thee this day. How many? All. The area you obey God in is the area you will receive breakthrough. All that I commanded this day. It says that the Lord will set thee above all nations of the earth. Verse 2. And it says, and all these blessings. How many blessings? All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. What's the condition? If thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Brothers and sisters, it takes faith. It takes the application of the principles of the kingdom. That's why the Bible says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Say the keys of the kingdom. It is only when you hold on to those keys that you can bind and lose. Many people are binding and losing. See, to bind and lose does not mean to say, I bind, I lose. To bind and use means to, to use those keys. It is the keys. Are you getting my point? That will enforce the binding and losing. A key like tithing releases open heavens. A key like giving releases favor, wisdom, creativity. A key like sacrifice compels the hand of God in your direction. Are you getting my, my point? A key like obedience, obedience to parents, releases longevity. A key like the communion, releases health and vitality to your body. And sets you free from all kinds of devils and yokes. A key like honor, opens the door of access for you. A key like your gift, brings you before grace. Are you seeing all the keys now? So, the losing and binding is not just saying, I bind, I bind, I lose, uh-uh. 
The binding and losing is supposed to be the resultant effect of something. This revelation has cheated many of our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ who will not allow humility or arrogance to let them learn and say that I may not be getting this thing very well. There are some of your loved ones at home. If you try to explain this thing for them now, they will argue with you and insult you. Yet they are suffering. Yet they are suffering. And the truth is, it's affecting you. I know, I know. This thing is not work. I know it will work. Ten years is not working. I know it will work. Faith is not foolishness. The end of true faith is a manifestation. If your car is moving and is moving slow, there is hope for arrival. But if you sit inside the car and it's not moving at all, are you going to arrive? Let me add one more point. In light of all of this, it means ministering deliverance, ministering healing, and all of these other things do not fight the reality of the finished work of Christ. Ministering deliverance. There are many ministries that don't believe in deliverance. Now, and I know when I say deliverance, that's a relative language. We have all kinds of things we call deliverance. I mean Bible-based scriptural deliverance with proof. Are you getting my point? This is what I'm talking about. Ministering deliverance. Many people are offended when they see demons being casted out of people. When they see us praying for people to be healed. When they see us breaking yokes from people. They say, no, it's not necessary. How many times do you need to see it right here? Praise the Lord. To know that Satan is oppressing. There are many arrogant families that are dying. They are under yokes and covenants of darkness. Nothing is working at all. But the humility to say something might be wrong. Now I've taught you, it's not lack of faith. Hallelujah. When we stand to proclaim deliverance and healing, what we are doing is we are applying kingdom principles, taking advantage of the lordship of Christ, the anointing of the spirit, and all the weapons of victory. We'll still continue our spiritual warfare series, and then we'll talk on our weapons of victory. To be able to compel the word to work today, here and now in your life. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. Just write it. won't read because of time. It says, how all inspiring are your ways. I love the scripture too much. It says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies do what? Submit. Through the greatness of thy power. Not just the greatness of your wishing. Through the greatness of the power you exert on them. They will give up and submit. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give you power. Behold, see, conceive as a reality in your spirit. I give you power. I give you authority over snakes. There is your whole snake thing again. Those who have problems with snakes and scorpions. The Bible would have said, I give you power over Satan. Period. Snakes and scorpions and all the power of the enemy it says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Let's look at one scripture. Mark 6, verse 7 and 13. Many families need deliverance. Let me tell you the truth. Many of the people who think they need healing, honestly speaking, what they need is not healing. What they need is to be delivered. I've taught you on biblical deliverance. I'm not just talking of these funny things people do. Read verse 7, everybody. One to read. And he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth two by two and gave them power over power over unclean spirits. That means there were unclean spirits roaming around. Roaming around. And he gave them power. He said, every time you see them, put them where they belong. Hallelujah. Verse 13. 
13. One to read. And they cast out how many? Many devils. And anointed with oil many that were sick. And healed them. That means not every sickness is necessarily demonic. Are you getting my point? Don't bath for one month. Something will happen to you. Don't brush for one week. Something will happen to you. These things are not necessarily caused by demons. They are just caused by carelessness. Carelessness. Hallelujah. But they say they cast out many demons. Did they cast out the demons from trees? The demons were in human beings. Hallelujah. Now the last thing I need to explain before we begin to pray is four levels of the operation of Satan and demons in people's lives. I know that we are on a spiritual warfare series, but that's for another time. But for now, I want you to have it, please. I want you to get this because many people have been confused. Some of you, the first time you came here, you were minding your own business. You were even the president of your ministry or your church. You were the pastor. You came and said, I just want to learn one or two things. Before they would say anything, you had broken the bench and you were rolling and you found yourself in the front here. And your member said, Pastor, ha, what happened? You have been healing the sick. This one that you are rolling up and down like this. What happened? And now the person is confused. And one prophet somewhere will say, I told you your pastor is possessed. I have always known it. No. I want to clear this right now. Is that true? Now, there are four levels of the operations of Satan in the lives of people. And this even includes believers. I will tell you why. Hallelujah. Number one, ignorance. 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 This is the basest the foundation hallelujah ignorance satan thrives on ignorance the bible says in psalm 82 he said they know not when you begin to read from verse 5 down it says they know not you mustn't go there they know not neither do they understand therefore they grope in darkness confusion and the earth is out of course he said but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but ye shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes so they know not ignorance see this is why if you're born listen if you get somebody born again the next step is that the person will need to subject himself to the teaching ministry of the word. Are you getting me? The kingdom is like a school. You don't just know things just like that. When you are taught the word, then you are built understanding, comprehension. Are you getting me? Many of you get people born again and just leave them. And after two years, the people don't even know whether they are born again or not. They say, were well, you born again? They say, you mean coming out? Yes, I came out. But the person is not born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So ignorance. Number two, deception. This is the next level. Everybody said deception. Deception is very powerful. Deception means to cause a man to err, to get into error. Deception. For instance, secular humanism is deceiving a lot of people, including the church, that there is nothing called Satan. That's deception. Is that true? Deception. They say the only Satan, the only devil you have is your mind. Destroy that devil and let the giant, they say put your hand in your stomach, begin to push it up. You are awakening the This is Christian science. This is metaphysics. Of course, I know there is greatness in you. The Bible says there is this treasure. But you don't do all kinds of metaphysical things. Uh-uh. There is a real devil. He's alive, roaming to and fro. Hallelujah. Deception. Number three. And this is the one that concerns a lot of people. Manipulation and control. You must get this. The third level of the operation of Satan. And this is where a lot of people a lot of people 
Even those we call witches and wizards. Let me tell you the truth. Look up. There are very few witches and wizards in this earth. If you know the condition to be a witch, you will know it's not free. It's not just signing fraternity with Satan. No. Hallelujah. Many of the people we call witches, many of our innocent mothers and fathers that prophets say they are witches and wizards, they are not. Are you getting me? Many of our husbands and wives, right now there are prophets destroying homes and families. Somebody just stands and looks at this lady and says, this lady is a witch. You know what he saw? He probably saw a spirit behind this lady or he saw a vision and something that has to do with demonic manipulation. He just said he's a witch. Are you getting me? And everybody starts frowning at the lady at home. You do anything, you said, I damn how we said it. Witch, or the wizard, or it's wrong. We have stigmatized people in the body of Christ. Listen to me, please. Many people, and those who are in the prophetic, be warned. Many people out of ignorance have called people witches and wizards. We have called our fathers and our mothers. A woman who was there with her husband suffered with him. Now you say she's a witch. When she married the man, he had nothing. They were drinking gari together. They now suffered. God is blessing him. A prophet now comes to say, Oh, it is true that that woman may be under yokes of darkness. Don't get me wrong. She may be under demonic manipulations that can even make her act out scripts that she did not plan. But that does not mean she's a witch. Are you getting my point? Even Paul the apostle explained this predicament. In Romans chapter 7, Paul began to speak. He said, with my spirit, I serve the Lord. He said, but in my body, I see another law working in my members. So that the things I do not want to see, I do not want to do, I find myself. So, you don't want to watch the pornography, but you don't know what happens. Once you load your internet, you just sit down. And although you are a man of God, or any lady you see, you just have lustful thoughts or people's properties. You can't see any, even if you don't need it, you carry it. This is a sign that there is demonic manipulation and control. Are you seeing that? You come back from church, your father just looks at you and starts quarreling and arguing. It's a sign that something is wrong. Anger is the clearest litmus test that you need help. Are you getting me? What did I say? Anger. I shared it with the school of ministry students. When we were teaching, I can't remember the course now. <laughs> Besides, anyway. <laughs> Praise God. I, are, you, are, you, are you following me now? Anger. Anger is the first sign that you need help. If you are battling with anger, I mean this kind of anger that you can break bottle with your leg. And tear somebody's head to two and then later you fume and you calm down. You need help. Don't ever say it's from our family. Whether it's from where you need help quick. There are many angry pastors. There are many angry reverends. There are many angry husband and wife. Many angry people. Five areas of your life. That when you see it consistently affected, seek help quick. Number one, your relationship with God. Relationship with God. Your relationship with God. Oh, the last point there is possession. Let me just finish it up. The last point is demon possession. That's the case we have with people like madmen, witches, wizards, occultists. Those that know they are occultists. They fly around and do all kinds of satanic things. Right? Now, look at me. The confusion is this. When you are ministering deliverance to people, if, if you don't discern in the spirit, all of those five things, the manifestation looks the same. Are you getting me? Whether someone is under the spirit of deception or under any kind of demonic yoke or influence, any kind of curse, whatever it is, you find out that sometimes manifestation, I mean falling down, is not necessarily a biblical sign. Are you getting me? The revelation of the word of God going forth. 
So it has nothing to do with falling and rising. That manifestation is just because of the fire of the word of God. And there are different operations of the spirit that are responsible for bringing this victory. Hallelujah. The Bible says when he comes, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. What was I saying? Before we... Uh, not five. I was saying something. Some of you are not listening. Eh? Five areas. Number one, your relationship with God. This is because this is your connection to victory. So you see somebody who loves God. He may even be a pastor. But the next thing, this person has left God. Have you seen people like that? Left God so much. When you see and say, ah, sister. When you were on campus, you were on fire. You loved God. What happened? You are even camping in a guy's house. You are staying there. She tells you, sweet, this is Nigeria. Don't open eye for me here. This is not any koinonia or anything. Please. You see that? Satan affects your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He uses these tools, I've told you, to affect. Because once he cuts that flow, you are already in trouble. The second area, so relationship with God and men. Let's just call that point one. God and men. You find out that your father who used to love you, your mother who used to love you, all of a sudden things start changing. How many of you have seen people like that? They start, you, you start irritating them. Even them, they don't know why what is happening. That's a sign that you should deal with. See, I'm giving you spiritual intelligence so that when you see certain things happening, your father and your mother, that when they come back, you know they're around because you hear a big kiss. Mwah! Now, when they're around, where is the food now? Uh -uh, something is wrong. Something is wrong. After marrying his wife for 20 years and they're fighting now and they're saying it's, it's irritable, mm -mm, something is wrong. I'm saying this because when we get up and we begin to pray, you know what it is so that even when you are being delivered or being set free, you know what is happening to you and you will rejoice. Are you getting my point? Number three, finances. Number what? Number two, sorry, finances. A hole will suddenly be created in your pocket. There are people who walk like like elephants. Have you seen people like that? Your boss just comes to you in the office and say, I don't know why. I don't like you. Please, you are fired. Ah, but you are fired. Come back tomorrow and collect the letter. I told you nothing just happens. Is that true? Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Number three, your health. Heterogeneous sicknesses start evolving from everywhere. Especially ladies. One headache that comes like play and it doesn't go back again. You start hearing all kinds of sounds in your ears. All kinds of satanic things. And many of us just hear it and you just say hey, paracetamol. You take it, nothing happens. I'm telling you this thing so that for many of you who think you don't even, nothing is wrong with you. As I share it right now, you will see that you really need help. Hallelujah. Number what now? Have I said it or I'm about to say it? Number four. This one is very, very important. If you are married or marriage relationship, I mean, because family is a big deal to the devil. Are you seeing why when we minister to people, we don't leave their families behind? Family. There are many of us, your family members were living in peace. Suddenly, one demonic tornado just came into your family and has scattered everything. If your father is driving in the car with your mother, you know. He will face east. Your mother will face west. Where did you say is the junction? This way. And you are turning. You just know that something is wrong. Let me tell you, there are some things that are not the issue of counseling. You don't counsel spirits out. You cast them out. This therapeutic, I'm not against, if, you're, if you read guidance and counseling, we need your ministry, may God bless you. Just add the anointing to it because let me tell you the truth. Just trying to counsel people. You can't counsel a man out of lust and pornography. Say, you see, uh, uh, the way we are like this, just make sure, destroy the, the modem and do, no. You need help. 
I say, don't be looking at ladies. What is the meaning of that? There are, the world is full of all kinds of ladies you don't have control over. Why will you punish me and say I should not look at where everywhere? Or, you know, this is, this is the religion that many of us are taking around. Oh, in Jesus' name, I'm not seeing this girl. She's not beautiful. This lady is pretty. My brother, you need help. You need help. Period. Why is this lady dressing like that? That may be a factor, but you yourself, it has nothing to do. Even if she dresses from head to toe, you know you are not well the way you are. You need help. A lot of people excuse the need for help in their own life and keep blaming people. Why is this lady sitting down near me now? You need help. When we are praying, stand up and say, God, visit me. I'm tired of this miserable life. Visit me. I hope as you are laughing, you are getting angry. There are many hypocrites in the body of Christ pretending to have overcome a lot of things that is killing them down. There are many people who are greedy, as greedy as the devil. They will just pretend, oh, I may give, mm -mm. See, once you see yourself struggling to do certain things, it's a sign that there is no grace walking there. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to deal with it. How many of you have seen our fathers? They come to church and they say, fathers, turn to your wives. They turn to your wife and your mother will eye him. Let everybody know there is trouble at home. Don't fake anything here. Let the pastor see it. Paradventure, God will reveal it to him and will solve the problem. You know, I counsel people. And sometimes when the man is trying to be diplomatic, the mother will say, man of God, this is what is happening in this family. There is no peace. Period. The man is trying to say, well, since uh, I didn't get the promotion, things have not been happening. The wife will just say, since this suffering didn't start today, even before you got the job. You see, if you have an open heart before God, you are ready to be delivered. Once you start giving flimsy excuses, Tonight, there's no excuse. Whatever does not look like the Garden of Eden in your life, contend for it until it leaves. Your contention, I've taught you, is not a sign that you are not a Christian. It's a sign that you are interested in seeing the reality of heaven become true in your life. Hallelujah. Curses are real. Yokes are real. Demonic covenants are real. Many families are under its influence. You don't cast out demons and principalities and powers and satanic manipulations just by saying, oh, Satan, go. The Bible says, for this kind, they overcame them by blood. The blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony. That's why there are many people. That, please listen to me. If you get this, there will be big deliverances in your families and in your life. And then you will see that that thing you were calling sickness just disappears. Never to return again. Hallelujah. Are you ready for what God is going to do in this place right now? While I was writing my prayer request, I said, God, tonight is tonight. I want you to mean business with God. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Instrumentalist. We are going to pray very serious prayer for two minutes please rise up everybody it's time for your destiny to open up it's time for your destiny listen there are many of us here you are the saviors that are representing your family right now you know what I'm saying. There are certain families you are even the only one who is saved. And you know that if God does not use you to produce changes, things will never change. You are this savior that is arising from Zion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to give God thanks inside and outside for this word. Please no distraction, no roaming up and down. 
Please pray from your heart, inside and outside. The power of God is everywhere. Please pray, 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 pray like you mean business tonight. You're not murmuring your prayers, you are praying. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your grace. Lord, you will visit me. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, you will visit me. You will visit my finances, my job, my marriage, my family. You will visit everything about my life. And everything that is not in divine alignment. I permit you to change it tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Twice the Lord revealed to me the things that will happen this night. Twice. I spoke about deliverance because tonight is truly a night of deliverance. I know many of you have seen deliverance, but this night we are flogging it out with destiny. Something must open up. Hallelujah. And I prayed, I said, Lord, please, let it not just be a few people. There are people who need a miracle desperately. Hallelujah. And the Lord assured me as ever, his mighty presence. My altar is calling you. My altar is calling you. My worship is calling you, oh God. My praise is calling you. Show up tonight in a mighty way. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My prayer. Is calling you, Lord. My worship is calling you, Lord. We invoke your presence in this place. My altar is calling you, Lord. My altar. I don't care what it is. Hear me. I don't care what it is. Every yoke of bondage and darkness, you will receive the full dose of God's power tonight. Hallelujah. 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 I sense his anointing coming. Man brought to Balakataba. Lord, my altar is calling you. My secret place is calling you. With my worship, I'm calling you. My worship. Hallelujah. See, right from outside. Well, this started while I was praying. But right from outside, as soon as I entered, you know how prisoners move and they tie chains. 
I was hearing the noise of many chains right from outside as soon as the car dropped. Please take serious what we are sharing tonight. I want you to pray and say whatever degree of influence the devil is claiming over your life and your family this night this night please pray Yes, Lord. We expect the mighty visitation. Get angry in your spirit. I hear the chains falling. Yes. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. listen the Lord is showing me certain people you have been experiencing movements in your body especially your stomach please come out quickly things move physically physically in your body please come out quickly to break every chain please save our time save our time we have a lot of things to deal with to break every chain break every chain to break every chain, 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 Those of you in front, lift your hands. That devil of darkness, lift your hands because that yoke is about to leave you. That snake, that moving object, for many of you, you will fully leave. I'm going to count three. Just those of you in front, I like you to shout Jesus on the count of three. It will jump out of you. Many of you will feel it physically. Physically, lift your hands, Father. Thank you. Let your fire and out of three. Every stranger in this body on the mark said, Go one, two, three. Holy. Yeah. 
one is gone now your right leg you literally feel it move it's like a snake it moves there is a leg it ties your stomach literally you feel a lot of contraction is going right now madam come hold my hands that's the lady i'm talking about bring her let her go now now out of her that devil of darkness Shabakata tabakata Sekete prosopata In the name of Jesus Out, go, go, go I hear the chains Falling I prophesy upon your life Those of you standing Every foul Devil of darkness That has found its way into your body that is responsible for all kinds of devilish infirmities I command you to live now I command you to live now return back to your seat rejoicing we are going to take testimonies return back to your seat bring the lady I feel the chains falling let her go out now I hear the chains I hear the chains falling I see the chains I see the chains falling lift your hands everybody I hear the hallelujah God is going to deliver families right now please lift your hands there will be representatives of families right now. Let me tell you something. There are all kinds of things speaking against families. See, I have an apostolic calling. I'm not a pastor. Are you getting me? My job is not to just motivate you. My job is to destroy and annihilate the works of darkness. Are you getting my point? So we are going to pray. The fire that fall in this place right now there will be a baptism of fire. Some of you will feel the physical fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout it, many of you will be shocked. The power of God will hit you like a tornado. I tell you, it's not just you. God is visiting families right now. Inside and outside, lift your voice. Worshippers, are you ready? At the count of three, with the clash of the cymbal, with every instrument, shout at the top of your voice, my God, let the fire of the Spirit visit families. Are you ready right now? One, two, three. Jesus! Shut, 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 shut. That devil is a liar tonight. Please bring them out, ushers. Save time. Some of you join the ushers if they are too slow. Please. I set it on fire. 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 On fire.
I set it that devil that will not let you go must go for you tonight. I give the chains for him. I give the chains. I give the chains. Lift your hands. There are still more people. Lift your hands, everybody. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just the clash of the simba. Lift your hands. Just the simba. Lift your hands. The fire of God is still coming on people. Just lift your hands. Keep them lifted. Yes, Lord, let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Like the dew of heaven. Right now, let it fall. Let no one stand. Bring them out. Mighty deliverance is happening in this place. I tell you, brothers and sisters, whatever said you will not go tonight must go for you. I give the chains falling. falling. Lift your hands while still praying. There are many of you, listen, please. I'm just throwing as the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. There are many of you that your sickness is not really sickness. Bring them out, please. Your sickness is a demonic oppression. What you need is not healing. For these are the kinds of people God will visit right now. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing blue flames in the sky. Instrumentalists, don't stop playing, please. Hallelujah. Blue flames. And the Lord told me this one is to take away the spirits that sponsor sickness. Lift your hands. Many of you will be very surprised that certain things you have been calling diseases are yokes of darkness. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you're going to shout Jesus again. As you shout Jesus, many of you, those spirits will literally jump out. Jump out of your life. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. Inside and outside, God is visiting everyone. At the count of seven, please, I want you to shout at the top of your voice. One, two, three, four, five. Get ready. Thank you, Jesus. Six, seven. Every spirit, spirits, spirits that sponsor sicknesses. Spirits, sicknesses, we only pray sicknesses. Now, spirits that are responsible. I cross him. I cross him. The blood is against you now. The blood is against you now. The blood is against you now. things that manifest like sicknesses. You keep wasting your money on drugs. It's leaving you. Don't wait till you come out. Deliverances are happening to people. Now all of those who are here, Satan, you and every demonic cohort, at the count of three you are living right now. Hear me, all these spirits. Now one, Two, three, go, 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 out, 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 out now, out, out, come out now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. This is very important. The Lord is showing me someone you've been having. It's like something is hooking you on your neck. Just your neck. You try to cough as if you want to cough it out. Please, who is the person? The Lord is ministering to me. There's somebody with that situation. Please, once I call your case, don't waste our time. We are trying to beat time. Honestly, there is done. It will go now. Sister, look at me. Look at me. That thing will disappear. Hold my hands. Out. Now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Place one hand on your throat. Out. Now. All of you just lay your hands there. Let me just pray at once. Please, we are not playing pranks. We are going to take some testimonies right away. There are people who are receiving miracles right now. Please be checking yourself. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. Father, let this demonic thing that is hooking your people go as a sign of the release you are bringing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, it leaves. What's wrong with this baby? Come. Are you the mother? Yes, sir. What's wrong with him? Sometimes he's still hiccup. Hiccups. Look at this boy, as small as he is. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He stops and does not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ does not return again in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, mother, right now, help her, please. This, this cause of delay in your life is gone. Now, let her go. Leave her now. Jesus. I proclaim you healed now. Please go back and check yourself. Go back and check yourself. Hallelujah. There is someone here. Hallelujah. Please, are you listening to me? It's like muzzle pull. You can just be moving and it will hook you. And you can just stand on your leg. This has been happening again and again. You feel it like muzzle pull. It just holds your leg. Move. Please, who is the person? Come, just lay your hands there. I'm praying for you right now. It will leave you right now. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit. Please lay your hands there. It is going to go. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, let your power rest upon them and let that demonic thing go. Be gone now. Now. Now, now, and as I lay my hands, just check yourself. Now, in the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself now. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Check yourself. We'll take testimonies. Hallelujah. See, miracles are happening. Let's, let's just finish up and then we'll have time for testimonies. Hallelujah. Listen. The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing a lady. Hallelujah. Please, let's have our attention. The Lord is ministering to me. He's showing me a lady. You had, I think you saw a cat. Now, I don't know if it's physically or spiritually. You saw a cat. It came to fight with you. And from that time, you've not been feeling fine. You're feeling like there's something inside you. Who is the person? A cat. A cat. It's an encounter with a cat. The Lord showed me. Please, inside or outside. When we get that person, let, let the person come out quickly. Quickly. I need to the person, this is very demonic and we must deal with it. A cat. You saw it. 
It came, I don't know what, what, what transpired, but it's a very demonic thing. Please, when we have the people, let's deal with it. Now, I'm going to pray for the sick, those who are sick. Please, all of you who are sick, just come and line up. If you can form two lines, one in front, one at the back, very quickly. You came here sick. Please, this is a miracle service. We're here for you. We're not in a hurry. Ushers, please coordinate them or protocol whoever. Coordinate them. Just make two lines, one in front, one at the back. Please hurry up, worshipers. Give us a very powerful worship while we get the devil out of these people's lives. Thank you. Now it's time for God to minister to the sick. While you're standing, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, it's over. It must leave me now. Exceedingly, abundantly, far above all. All you could ask. I want you to see that sickness for the last time because it's leaving you. According to. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal. Somebody help me. Please, as I lay hands on you, just begin to check yourself. Check yourself. God is able to do just what he says. What's the problem? You have a uh, father. Who brought this small girl? My auntie. Auntie, where are you? Who is who brought this small girl? Please, if you bring people that are very small, come with them. Is you? Come, auntie, come. What's wrong with her? She's sick. What do you mean she's sick? What's wrong with her? Cough. Eh? She's Oh, cough. Oh, okay. That's all right. God bless you. Sweetheart, look at me. You believe Jesus can heal you? You believe Jesus can heal you? Okay, I'll pray for you. Look at me. Help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say 
से हो Stopping, huh? This is not their work. Media, where are you? A representative should come and hold the mic, please. What what did you I say? I saw a cat, a black cat, assisting my mother. Mm -hmm. That devil is a liar, it will leave you right now. Praise God. Tell your mother the end has because the Lord just delivered you in a very mighty way. Father, perfect this deliverance now. Let her go. Now! Hallelujah. Watch us, please continue. God bless you. See, I want to ask you, hear me. Hold on, let me explain something. There are some of you who, when I pray for you, the way you are looking at me, it's as if you don't believe what I did. I will ask you what is wrong. Are you getting me? I'm just flowing by the Spirit. When I lay hands, some of you are trying to explain and you feel bad that I'm not responding. I don't need to know. The same power will solve the problem. Are you getting my point? Occasionally, I may ask you, it is just, I'm just flowing as the Spirit is leading me, okay? Bless you, worshipers. Please continue. Son, please. Daniel, what? Just about two, three months ago. So I've taken to hospital. First hospital. What was the issue? What's the issue? Maybe like he put a lot of saliva in his mouth. His mouth has burned to one side. It's not working normal again. It's not smart again. It's not working. It looks like an imbecile. But he was not born like this. This thing started just about three months ago. Yes. What? See how wicked the devil is. What happened to him? I mean, what? What? According to him, he plays ball. He's a goalkeeper. According to him, he's a goalkeeper. He's, yes, he said he dived and hit his head on, on against stone. The first hospital I took to, they say he affected his head, his brain. But when I went to a teaching hospital last time, 
the consultant has said there's nothing like that, but he fell so by a pediatric uh, clinic, which we were, were given appointment by February. But I believe God will walk upon that and say, we should come here this morning. Absolutely. Look at me. Boy, does he understand me? Don't worry, don't worry, sir. It's okay. Look at me. Jesus will heal you right now. Huh? Hmm? Look at the boy crying. It's okay, don't cry. This is why this meeting is put together. If this is the only guy that we heal and he experiences the love of Jesus, let me tell you, this sacrifice is worth it. Are you hearing me? Boy, look at me. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's all right. It's all right. So look at the fire. Oh, please, please, somebody help this man with a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. I beg you, sir, please. Or anything, please. Let's, let's, this is, please, please, sir. It's, it's all right. It's all right. You may not know how much he has been spending. You see, this is a wicked thing. You see what pains me? This is why we deal with these things. It's all right. Please, 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 daddy, it's all right. Because I know why you are crying. You are not just crying because of him. You are crying because your finances are tight. Is that true? This is what the Lord is ministering to me. Is that true? Yes, sir. Why you are crying? You are not just crying. I have cancer. But uh, I'm here for both this, my son and my mother. I have been to you about two years ago. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please help him with it. Please. Brothers and sisters, when a man cries, the situation, this is not... I think this man is a police officer also. When a police officer is crying, thank God for koinonia. Boy, look at me. Can he talk? Say Jesus. Jesus. Say in the name of don't worry, I'll pray for you. That demon that is responsible for this, you are leaving this boy now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out! Now! Come out of him! That issue of partial paralysis is gone. Right now. That saliva is gone. Stand up. Come on, look at me. Shout it. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the Father rejoicing. Look at. Give Jesus praise. This is why this meeting. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Hey. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Come and dance, come and dance. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Stand up, you stand up. Stand up. You couldn't walk very well. Walk now. Come, follow me. Jump. 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 Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look at me. You are family members. I prophesy to you, your finance changes now. I prophesy to you, and I use this as a point of contact. Whatever the devil has used to cripple your life, I speak it right now. See, when the Lord does a miracle, there is an anointing. You take advantage of it. Miracles are languages. I command everything that has refused to work in your life. This night, I command it to walk. I command it to walk. 
I command it to walk. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord, the Lord increase you. Please let's continue. Go ahead and play. God is doing great things. We're still going to take some more testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Go back, sir. We're going to take a few testimonies. And Benga, let's do it this way. There are people receiving miracles right now. See, the moment you find a miracle, don't sit back. Hallelujah. Uh, ushers will help them. Once you check your body, there are many things changing right now. I want you to move here quickly. They'll come and confirm you and will allow you to share. To the shame of the devil, go ahead. Both those that I'm praying for, those in the congregation, those who were delivered, something happened to you. Go ahead and pray. God is doing mighty things here. Sabarai Kabani Nagode Out Cheto Kabani Nagode Zemako Kabani Out 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 Nagode The Lord is showing me a wicked spirit tying this lady down. Let her go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out! Release her. And this delay, this thing you put in her stomach, take it out now. Take it out. Let it go. Out! as you hold them, make sure you are praying in tongues. You must saturate the atmosphere with tongues. You don't just hold people like that. Devils are living. Whether it's through me or through you, they should go. Yes, Lord, let it go. By your power, by your fire. Oh, no. 
something coming out. Yes. The devil that wants to remain in your body he must let you go this night in the name of Jesus Christ. And then I fell down to the ground and then I was brought here. I just felt very light. Very light. Yes. You are free in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Hallelujah. Any other testimony? Okay, while they come, let's just have the testimonies first. And Hallelujah. That's a powerful song. He's a miracle. Old school but powerful songs. Alpha, you are Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle. Hallelujah. the anointing I can do stupid things but I'm not just acting foolishly where's the water is it not the water you brought for me I said you should give her I didn't say you should collect it huh I know why I drank it and I gave her take my dear you just do what I asked you to do take it
There are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, the water. Lord, be cleansed now. That demon, I see you in the spirit already. Out you go. On your mark, get set, go. Go. Now. Go. Out of her. Out of her. And return no more. Cancer. That's what I said. Cancer. Uh, uh, uh. That cancer. one is said. Uh, that one is said. Doctors told you. Yes. Did you bring your report? No. You didn't bring your medical report. No. Prostate cancer. Uh, that what they said. You believe Jesus will heal you? Why not? Right now. Yes. Daddy, God will heal you right yes. now. Yes. How many of you believe God will heal our daddy? Answer your spirit. And in the name of Jesus, depart from this body now. Together with all the symptoms, prostate cancer, go. Go. You will go back to the hospital and they will not see a trace of cancer in your body. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for somebody. I'm seeing pile, pile pile and this is not just ordinary pile it's quite advanced please let's hurry up pile i need to prophesy on somebody look let me tell you something um this is this is a family are you getting my point this is a family and this is this is like a hospital it's a medical center. When you enter the hospital, if they say remove your clothes and lie down, you won't tell them, do you know I'm an adult? You will just lie down quietly because this is, this is a spiritual hospital where we deal with a lot of nonsense that Satan wants to bring in people's lives. This is not the only person. There are at least two other people. At least once we pray for you, don't come and stop us after the meeting and say, actually, I was trying. This is a family. Hallelujah. Jesus. There's one more person. Yes, Lord. Now! Thank you, Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. You are living. Shagapata. I see you already. You are going. I tell you, discernment is a powerful gift of the spirit. Content. I'm going to pray that many of us need, need discernment. Let her go. You see, medicine calls it pile. But look at the real thing. It would have been anything. That's why I tell you, go now, please. Don't waste our time. Go, leave. In the name of Jesus. There's one more person. I hope that. Hallelujah. 
Now, I need to pray for somebody. This is a funny case. Your money used to disappear and miss physically. Please. This is something that has been very serious. You will keep money, you will count it. It's not the same. I know some of you are funny until you see it happen in real life to people. Come out, the Lord is showing me. Physically, I don't just mean you spent it. You don't know what you did. This is something that has been surprising you. Please, there is a woman, an elderly woman too, who is supposed to be here. I'm seeing it. The Lord is showing me. Please, please, let's hurry up. I don't know why you are surprised that your money is missing when the Bible calls Satan a thief. <laughs> See, it's not about stealing. Do demons eat money? No, no. It's a language in the spirit. It's a symbol of oppression. Why will God mention a case like this? If not that God is leading you in your meeting, will you mention a, a case that doesn't make sense like this? Lord will set you free. Hallelujah. These are activities of the devourer. Mama, you're welcome here. Jesus Christ will visit you. Thank you, sir. You believe that? Yes. Jesus Christ will visit you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Visit Mama even right now. Look, like, brothers and sisters, don't let any man confuse you. Wickedness is real. Are you getting my point? Wickedness is very real. Because, look at me. Where is your mother? In my place. Where is your place? Cameroon. Do you know why I called you? Do, do I know you are from Cameroon? Do you know why I'm talking to you? Because I saw light left this mama and came to you. Hold on, don't cry. What is wrong? Wait, hold on. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your mother? They went to hospital. She's still suffering with the hand. I was praying and I wanted to move to the line, but I saw light and the Lord said, uh-uh, address this lady's situation right now. Your mother, it has not been treated till now. They went to hospital, but it's still there. It's still there. Because, you see, I'm seeing a signboard with obituary, and this thing would have happened since last year. Is this year? I'm seeing since last year. A sign of obituary, your mother. But we lost our sister too, our elder sister. Hold on now. It's the spirit of death. Hallelujah. We are going to rebuke it because this is what I'm seeing on you too. Look at me. That's why you dream. Dead people. Dead people. <laughs> dead people. You see dead people in your dream. They come to you. Sometimes they're trying to give you something to eat. Yes. Is that true? You, the Lord will deliver you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go! That wicked spirit. What does the living have to do with dead people? Hallelujah. I need to pray for some people now with this kind of situation. Hold on. Uh, the Lord is ministering to me. There are at least five people. I want you to come and stand here quickly. You see dead people in your dream. Sometimes they try to force food on you. Please, hurry up. The Lord is showing me. Let's just handle this once and for all. If you are still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Dead people, they come to you in your dream and they give you food. This is, this is the Lord. Please, separate the lines. Just stand here. It's a miracle service who will minister to you. Please make sure you don't go anywhere. I'm still going to prophesy. While we are doing that, did you bring your prayer request? Lift up your prayer request. If you didn't write it, you will be cheated. Please, in one or two minutes, any other person who has not written his prayer request, or I'm giving you two minutes. Send a text to your loved ones. Tell them forward your request quickly. We are going to collect it right now. The Lord gave me an instruction. Usually when we pray for the prayer requests, we'll just go and burn it. But the Lord said I should pack everything and I'm going to be praying from this night till tomorrow morning on it. That's the instruction the Lord gave me. Let me see the devil that will stop your prayers from being answered. 
Hallelujah. Now, be healed. Please, just write it. If you have not written it, we are giving you one minute. Those online, I hope media has a way of reaching them. Please, you can send a text to your loved ones right now. Tell them, send me your prayer request and you can add it to your paper. We don't read anybody's prayer request. We just pray on it. So if you think you wrote something and there are still some other things you should write, please write it. Please. I have my own prayer request. It's an instruction God gave us. We are not, please, if they need papers, can somebody help them? Okay. The ushers have papers. If you need papers, just wave your hands and the ushers will locate you. Thank you, sir. Let me just finish praying for these people. Be healed, right? Thank you, Jesus. That delay leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Now! Out! Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out. You too. You are following me like an usher. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you can go back to your seat if I've attended to you. Let's just decongest this place. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. I need, to, I need to really pray for you. This thing I'm seeing is not good. We need to pray. Because I'm seeing a ring. I'm seeing five rings on your hands. This is what I'm seeing. This is a spell. It must leave you now. It will not affect your home. It will not affect your life. It will not affect your home. We break it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire burning you. Something is living. It's like an altar on fire. Shake up. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shake up. I see an altar. And this is like a village. The Lord is showing me. I'm seeing like a village. I'm seeing the horn of a cow inside a shrine. Let it be on fire now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release you breakthrough, supernatural, inexplainable breakthrough because this thing tied the finance of her and her husband. I command its release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Instrumentalist, you are resting. Thank you, Jesus. It's a miracle. We are going to deal. See. Immediately I finish with this. We are going to deal with marital issues. Marriage. Delay. This delay in marriage. We are going to handle it right now. Sister, look at me. You. See, you. Where you are. God is going to visit your family. God is going to visit you. Do you come? Come. This is one of your major requests. Come, run and come here. Come. Is it true? Is it true? What, what is it? Why? What is true? My sister, my other Your elder sister yes, is not married. Yes, Every is just disappointment here and there. And it's one of your major requests. Even as you were standing there, yes, you were telling God to visit you. To let you know God knows you. You will receive your own right now. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be for her sister. Now, that cause of marital delay, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. God is doing a major work. Major work in her. Major work. Major work. Every altar of that. Please, if I pray for you, just look to me. Go! Look at me, my dear. This is demonic. Don't put yourself in any sort of God in the name of friends. Eh? 
Don't let them do all kinds of things. Who made this mark on your body? Look at me. You're a very great lady. You're going to be very wealthy. Very, very wealthy. Don't forget about the body of Christ. Huh? You are an usher. You are acting as an usher. Come. Let me finish with you first before you continue. Come, hold my hands. She's serving in that. So, go. You are in the name of Jesus. You are leaving her now. Go. together please those of you here what what do living people have to do with dead people many of these things you are seeing is not just about you are you getting my point I'm going to pray for you lift your hands lift it up Let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to release you. Many of you will be surprised. It will leave you. Father, every demonic thing that has to do with dead people that has brought your people in bondage right now in the name of Jesus I'm asking you by the power of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, let that power break out of your life. My God, the fire of God is strong. One, two, three, come now. Let the power of God set you free now, 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 now. Everything with dead people, I separate you now. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your prayer requests. Oh, you've dropped it. Okay, please bring them outside here quickly. While. Now listen. Supernatural marriages. There are some of you, every relationship you enter, something must happen and it will scatter. But first and foremost, please, before marriage people, if you are in business, here, yeah, come out. I don't mean if you want to do business, please. If you are in business, come out. If you come out here and we don't see you doing anything, don't come and lie here before God, please. You have started, you have started. Understand what I'm saying, please. Don't just be emotional. You are doing business that we can see everybody knows ah. it's time for your business to rise don't sit back this is why we are putting this program strings please Brothers and sisters, it's part of our mandate to prophesy and release prosperity upon people. And I want you to believe it. 
Hallelujah. That an anointing will come upon you. And that you will run with the spirit of Elijah. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen from this night. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Those who stand there. Every mountain has giants. The bigger the giants, the greater the mountain. Until you conquer the giants that are in every business mountain, you will not prevail. Let me tell you, you can try and do all you know to do. But when those giants are conquered, it will be a landslide victory. And this is what I want to help you do. Lift your hands. But the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. of you need creativity many of you need favor some of you just need access please lift your hands no man brings himself out of a hole you need another person to help you hallelujah I tell you financial mantles will fall upon some of you here but first we need to kick out some giants from the mountain hallelujah lift your hands at the count of three those of you here, I just want you to shout just one word. Jesus, very loud. You will be surprised that there are some forces tying down your shops and your businesses. It will go and I will release grace. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? My God, I feel the power of God. Help me with the same power. At the count of three. One, two, three. Let him go. Now. Let him go. Release his business. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Wicked men want to destroy this guy's business. I'm seeing people sitting down. And discussing. Let him go. It's a popular business. This woman. Social center. I'm seeing social center. So you do hair. I be hair. You are, is it plaiting hair? Is it true? The fire of God is coming on your heart now. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing somebody. You do dry cleaning. Dry cleaning. You wash and iron clothes, but this thing has not been working. Dry cleaning. You are not the only one. Dry cleaning. Dry cleaning. Come. Hold your hands together. Sharp akata balada. Lift it up. Shende bada kata la kaprete kete kepa rakata kata pa kate kete pa kata rante pre kete kepa every power holding down this dry cleaning business in the name of Jesus go 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 in the name of Jesus Hallelujah now in the name of Jesus I send a prophetic word to your business. I command dry bones leave dry bones leave dry bones leave those who are looking for shops we give you shops here 
I don't care whether they shop or not. We give it to you now. Wherever you wanted to put your business and they said they will not give you a place, go back and get your place. Those who need capital, may God by favor locate you this night. Even your enemies may they bless you. Hallelujah. Many of you need customers. I don't care whether school is on session or not on session. It's irrelevant. From the north to the south to the east, all over Zaria and beyond, I call for those who should patronize you in the name of Jesus. Whoever has spoiled your name so that men don't want to patronize you, I change that testimony now. I change that testimony now. Hallelujah. Oga okay, John, photographers, two of you come. You cannot be serving in Koinonia and be like the rest. Hold your hands. Oga okay, John, look at me. Do you believe in what I'm saying? You believe in what I'm saying? You will be surprised. Lift your hands, both of you. Father, for the sake of your house for the sake of your house i hold your business step into a new dimension by the power of the holy ghost on common access in the name of the lord jesus christ on common access take them to places they would never imagine give them opportunities in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah go and succeed Go and prosper. Now look at Let me tell you one big secret. Many of you, what you is greed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Greed. Greed. Some of you don't even tithe in your business. If you are not faithful in tithing, the devil will eat you up no matter how many days you pray and fast. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your personal tithe is the, as a ministry, we tithe. That's why no devil can touch anything here. Are you getting my point? Be faithful in tithing. Deal in integrity. I bless your business. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the country. Where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Let your gates be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. I command the forces of the spirit to align themselves and begin to walk in your favor. I command the earth to speak for your favor. In the name of Jesus, go and return with your testimonies. Everybody rise up as we pray on the request. Be your blessing and honor and glory and power. Please, if you have not submitted your request, do it quickly. Please don't burn them after after the prayers. Please pack them, put them in a bag, take them to my house. You will hear unusual testimonies. Unusual testimonies. Hallelujah. In one minute, stretch your hands here and begin to pray radically in tongues and say, Lord, now is the time. Please, outside, stretch your hands towards the screen.
all names. As I walk upon this request, I command them to be turned into testimonies. This spiritual technology unto the God that answers prayer shall all flesh come. My God, I pray from now, let testimonies erupt. Solve impossible situations. Change impossible situations. Recopo tokoto bakata. I stand under this apostolic unction in the name that is above all names. Let there be the signs of an apostle. I command, I invoke the heavens. Let there be a shifting. Let there be a movement. Let there be a release of miracles, financial miracles, marital miracles, health miracles, job miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Finally, before I prophesy, Hallelujah. You know that there seems to be a yoke, please don't be emotional, of marital delay in your family. Even if it has not affected you, come out and stand here quickly. If we are too many, just stand, just stand on the lines. Please, take this seriously. 40 years, no marriage. 45 years, no marriage. Or ladies, no marriage. Or men in your family, they marry and die. Let's get that devil out of your life right now. Marriage is the will of God. Marriage on time is the will of God. See, brothers and sisters, if you're doubting whether this will happen, go back to your seat. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. I told you nothing just happens. Nothing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you here. We need to end this. Many of you just came and met battles you don't know anything about. Yet you are suffering it still. I don't care how old you are. We must open that marital door. And not just one anyhow man because your age is already advanced. They say, let's just manage. No. No. You're going to marry. Listen, sisters. Don't marry an irresponsible man in the name of just trying to manage time. And our brothers, don't just jump and marry any Jezebel that will kill your life and destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. We need to break this thing because many families are suffering this thing. And for those who have gotten married, you see that there is no child. And by extension, even praying for barren people right now. Lift your hands. Father, in this November miracle service, I'm praying right now. Many of you will be surprised. The spell of marital delay. Instrumentalist, are you ready? Look at me. What I'm seeing is rain in the spirit. When I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. That rain will drop. Because there are many of you, I'm already seeing rings, spiritual rings, covenants. This is what is stopping you. Please shout it with all your heart. My God, as they shout, this rain falls. Listen. Listen. There will be a divorce here. Many of you, I'm seeing rings on your hands as you're standing, meaning you are already married to demonic entities. This is the divorce. We are going to cancel this thing now. Whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. Lift your hands. Father, I pray by this power as they count, Lord, I pray that any spiritual marriage 
that is not of God that is dying physical marriages it will catch fire now at the count of three get set one two three now spiritual marriages break 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 now every spirit every spirit every spirit every spirit let them go release your marital destiny every covenant marital covenant entered in on your behalf it catches fire now we command a divorce a divorce now a divorce now a divorce now this is what is responsible for the delay of many of you pretty lady no husband fetch your sister no husband handsome responsible brother no wife people say it's how nigeria is there's nothing like that oh there's nothing like it's how nigeria is i prophesy to you for many of you especially for those of you who are of marriageable age by this time next year return with your supernatural marriages I change what needs to be changed. We shift what needs to be shifted. Hallelujah. Sisters, hear me. Wherever your husband is, I don't care where he is. If he's alive, I bring him into your life. Brothers, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy the struggle is over. Now, the struggle is over. You are not a liability to any sister. You are a blessing. Therefore, the sister that will agree for you and mean it from her heart, I bring her into your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for any of you that have seen traces of barrenness in your family, they get married but they can't deliver normally except through CS. I change that report now in the name of Jesus. I change that report now. I change it now. I change it now. Please return to your seat quickly. Return to your seat quickly. Everybody rise. Let me just speak the last prophetic word. And then we'll wrap up. We're out of time. Just leave them. If, if they cannot stand up, just leave them there. Please, quickly, quickly. Everybody stand up in honor of the Lord. Lift up your hands, strings. Hey boy, stay students, stand up. This gentleman have been here all the way. Hold your hands together. Lift it up and look at me. They came for IT all the way from a boy. And God from from Kogi, oh the Kogi guys you will catch fire take it to your campus set every devil in Kogi, drive them out hallelujah lift your hands, look at me you will receive an anointing you will receive a mantle Elijah said if you can see me as I'm taking up, father in the name of Jesus let something mighty fall upon these ones Grace for signs and wonders. Grace for uncommon revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are the airborne students? Who are going back? Quickly come out please. Save our time. Airborne students that came on IT in Zaria. Appreciate them as they come. Come and line up quickly. It's time to catch the fire and take it to a boy instead. All of you, hold your hands quickly. You didn't just come for IT. You came for a spiritual IT. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. 
Mande de ke bagata bala da bagata bregete ke bala. You will go back with fire. Zekata. At the count of three, the power of God will fall on you. Right now, get ready. One, two. Take it now. 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 Go and burn. Go and burn. Set your campuses on fire. In the name of Jesus, heal the sick, cast out devils. Mike, right? Mike, allow where sick will come. Hallelujah. I, I said I was going to pray for him. Hallelujah. I heard that he just signed a check to pay off for this venue. Hallelujah. I'm told. Come. You cannot give into the kingdom and remain ordinary. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. So shall thy bands be filled with plenty and thy vats to overflow. Let a financial mantle come, O oh God. According to Proverbs, he said, For the sake of thy house, I desire thy prosperity. I lay my hands upon you. Step into a new level of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord honor you. I give your seed a voice. Go round the earth, gather your kind, and return back to him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Everybody, please lift your hands. I always tell you that this is the part that I love most. I know we are late, but it's better for your destiny to change. You must return next month with your testimony. Please lift your hands. Many of you don't know the power of prophetic statements. Where's the guy from Univ Joss. University of Joss? University of Joss. Where's University of Joss again? Come quickly, please. Save our time. You will catch that fire and take it to your campus. Drive every devil out. Yes, Lord Jesus. For you will do mighty things. Lift your hands, both of you. Lord, we wait on you for fire. Take them to another level, oh God. Take them to another dimension. Fill them with uncommon power. Let their limitations melt. Lord, as these hands come, let an anointing come upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Alright, foot me now, quickly. Foot me now. Foot me now. Please come out. Lift your hands, both of you. Hurry up quickly. Hold your hands together, lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus. May they step into amazing levels of the anointing. Take the anointing to your campuses. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands. Every closed door. Shakata bakata. Every door that has been closed over your life and your family. I command right now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Everything called failure in your life. Failure. 
it will become a forgotten testimony in the name of Jesus. That spirit that causes delay, it works for others until it is your turn. Right now, in the name of Jesus, shake it, take a I command acceleration. You will run like Elijah. You will run like Elijah. All those trusting God for jobs by 28th December, the next miracle service. I don't know how God did it. Lord, shake end to end of every office and give your people jobs. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease afflicting you or any member of your family right now, I command that disease on your mark, set, go. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything the devil has stolen in your family joy, peace, progress. Please believe what I'm about to speak into your life. Everything the devil has stolen, I prophesy right now. Receive sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Hallelujah. I command the favor that distinguishes a man. The favor that separates you from others. In the name of Jesus, let that mantle of favor, let it come upon you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every spirit of death that says you will not see December. Lift your hands. This is very important. The way people are dying like chickens. Every spirit of death. I put a mark of the blood and I command it to pass by your family. Pass by your family. Pass over. Pass over. Hallelujah. All those trusting God for admission, you have it finally. I said you have it finally. I don't care who is the rector or who is the VC. That's none of my business. We legislate in this place. Receive your admission. And anyone here that any lecturer is saying you will not graduate, they will sign your paper as you graduate. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for your finance. We are a blessed people and I pray for you. Right now, whatever makes you not to tithe, whatever makes you not to give and obey the laws that bring increase, whatever makes you feel God is cheating you, I curse you away from that deception. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. And I pray, whatever is holding your finance and that of your family, I command you to release it now. In the name of Jesus. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Please keep standing. I know we are late. Just give me two minutes and we're out of here. You've never made, please bring the announcement. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Everybody keep standing, please. No moving up and down, please. Inside and outside. This is a very important announcement now. You've never made a decision for Jesus Christ. Please look at me. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are some of you who have made a decision for Jesus, but you have found yourself derailing. you backslidden, and you need to return to the Lord. As I count, I'll just count one to four because of time. 
I know there are people outside, there are people inside. We want to welcome you. Don't be ashamed. Run to Jesus Christ right now. The Lord bless you as you come. One, please leave your seat and come. Quickly, quickly. Two, don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed, please. Inside and outside. Hallelujah. Run to Jesus Christ. It's time to make everything new. He died for your sins. Three, please quickly, quickly. Don't just stroll around. Run. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Because it's a gift. The free gift. Hallelujah. Finally, four. Hallelujah. You can still join us. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands, those of you here. Thank you for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Hallelujah. From today, I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm a child of God. I'm born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, live my life. The power of sin over my life is broken. I'm a child of God. Let her go. You are hearing her confession and you are still remaining. Let her go. I'm born again in Jesus name. Thank you so much for making this decision. We love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. I'd like you to follow the ushers. That's the Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.